okay so here we come with the second test for benzoic acid and that is again a common reaction for carboxylic acid that is esterification reaction you know carboxylic acid when react with, reacts with alcohol in presence of acid catalyst it undergo esterification reaction hmm. rcooh plus r prime oh if you take two common carboxylic acid and alcohol then the ester that you will get rcoor prime right that is the ester so here we are taking the alcohol as ethanol that is c2h5oh and the carboxylic acid is benzoic acid that is c6h5cooh so the ester that we will obtain is c6h5cooc2h5 that is ethyl benzoate and the character of this ester is it liberates a sweet fruity smell when you smell the ester it gives you an order of a sweet fruity smell so that is the observation so we have benzoic acid here and again as i said in the first test that it is slightly soluble in water so we take only a very little amount of benzoic acid a very this this is very important if you take a huge amount of benzoic acid the test will not come proper so only a very little amount of benzoic acid i have added to the test tube half test tube of water now in this reaction what we will require we will require a boiling water bath so that i have already started and you can see the water has started boiling already slightly so since i have a boiling water bath so i will not go for heating this test tube i will simply put it in the water bath to dissolve the benzoic acid because you know benzoic acid is soluble only in hot water but not in water at room temperature so you can see just after 30 seconds in the water bath it is completely dissolved now there are two ways first we can add the alcohol and then the h2so4 as the acid catalyst or first we can add the acid as the catalyst and then alcohol now if you see the mechanism of this reaction in the first step what we get the acid gets protonated with the catalyst right and then the alcohol act as the nucleophile and attack the carboxyl carbon so it is better to add the h2so4 first to get the protonated acid and then we will add the alcohol and it will uh, do the nucleophilic attack so the reaction will be better you can do it other way also that way also the reaction will be done because ultimately they will be mixed and they will react so i am going for this one first i will add acid and then and then i will uh, add the alcohol so see now you know that mixing h2so4 in water is highly exothermic reaction right so add it drop wise very carefully i am adding concentrated h2so4 so i will be adding it along the walls of the test tube in this hot condition see it is making sounds because it is highly exothermic in nature so be very careful while adding this h2so4 and since it is catalyst only few drops of h2so4 is sufficient ten to twelve drops and that is sufficient okay that is more than enough so now my carboxylic acid is protonated and now i will add the reagent that is the alcohol ethanol this is also 8 to 10 drops okay and it is react now what will happen here the ester that is obtained that is also transparent the it will remain as a transparent solution so there is no color change or precipitate precipitate that type of observation it is only the smell so it is not possible to make you smell that in a youtube video so i will just show you how to smell it okay don't keep the test tube very close to your nose or don't take your nose very close to the test tube you can keep it at sufficient distance from there you can smell 
the sweet fruity smell the smell comes from the fruit that sweet smell that is the characteristic smell of the ester so it is reacted okay i can hold it uh, because i know how to hold it with hand you better hold it with a test tube holder okay so i hope it has reacted yes a very sweet fruity smell is coming so this distance is enough you can keep it for 1 minute more but it has already reacted the ester formation is done and you know this is a this is an equilibrium reaction right and how we actually increase the percentage of ester because uh, if if we, we can eliminate the water molecule that is produced in this reaction along with the ester then according to la chatelier principle the equilibrium will be shifted towards the right side and we can get more and more ester but here we don't have that arrangement to remove specifically the water only so the equilibrium amount of ester is sufficient to give you the fruity smell okay yeah a very sweet fruity smell so that's all about the esterification reaction i will be coming with the next experiment of benzoic acid in the next video thank you